Hello guys, super quick and spontaneous tutorial. I will show you how to create exactly this render here with this teapot. Yeah, it's just Sunday morning or Monday morning. I just practiced a little bit like modeling here in Plasticity, like this uh, new NURBS CAD modeling program and it's just awesome. Yeah, so I just also practiced a little bit like of rendering and yeah, let's just create it and it's like you will see it's super easy, super fast. So let's just open R ah, and of course you can download this for free just click on the link and scroll down and uh, yeah search for the free download button and yeah you will subscribe to my newsletter and don't worry I don't spam you uh, the only thing that you will get now and then is like free models and some tips and tricks on freelancing 3d and all that stuff so yeah subscribe you get free models and you can use exactly that model and follow along so you can learn exactly what I'm doing. So yeah, let's just start. We go to Cinema 4D, yeah, 16 by nine. We go to Octane Render here and all that stuff and just bring in our model. So this is what you get and just bring in like the model. So yeah, that's it with uh, that kind of topology. So now we just create Octane Camera and we go into the Octane Camera and we make it uh, 100. We go to the focal length of the camera and we make it 100 millimeters. So it's just looking very nice and flat and perfect. So now we can go to the camera coordinates and just zero everything out. And yeah, just bring this a little bit up and just bring it back a little bit. And we go and we press F2. We go to cameras and the perspective and NB so we can see the mesh. So we can just move and we can start like our octane render and also just F1, shift V and the opacity is 95% and shift two again so I can move but uh, the picture uh, stays the same. And now very easy, we just create like a plane and you see it's perfect like on the bottom already. We don't need like any uh, segments so we just put it one on one, make it editable, go to that edge and control click just uh, drag it on the top a little bit and just bring this polygon a little bit to the front and we just create um, bring a bevel deformer with shift click under the plane and you see already we just get like a few um, subdivisions so yeah i think this looks really good so yeah we can make this a little bit bigger and just save it so we don't lose it and yeah, so let's uh, make the camera just a tiny bit like to the top. And yeah, and now, yeah, it's super easy. We just create like a octane specular material. This will be our glass and we just drag it like onto our thing here. And we have to go to the settings and again, just path tracing, like, I don't know, 1000 samples. Crank up the specular depth to 20 or something, diffuse depth 8, we don't need scatter depth. GI clamp 10 and enable adaptive sampling so everything is just a little bit faster. And also we can just duplicate it and just call this a liquid. And you will find like here we have the liquid body. So it's just inside and just a little bit intersecting with the glass. So we can bring the liquid onto our material here or the other way around, we go to into our liquid material and we just drag in a transmission and RGB spectrum and yeah, you can give like any color you want, but I don't know, I just like this kind of green color. It looks pretty cool, I think. And also we have to give the glass like some fake shadows because yeah, it just looks a little bit better, but the liquid don't need a fake shadow. So because we put after it a light behind it, so it will be uh, backlit a little bit. And now we just create, like as you see, just uh, some uh, metal. So we have like beautiful reflection of the HDRI. And yeah, in that example, I'm just using HDRI and just a few extra light sources. You will see super easy, super fast. So we just create a, like an octane material. We call it metal. Yeah, we can just go to our liquid disable it and glass cup because yeah we can then put just easily the metal material on all those things here so something like don't forget the screws and for the handle yeah just for that purpose we just create like an octane glossy material we call it just plastic 
and that plastic again we just drag onto our handle here it's just like two parts and we go to our plastic our note don't material and just give it like a almost a black color and just a little bit like of roughness so yeah but that's um, okay and also i want to duplicate this metal here because yeah you will see let's let i will just show it to you uh, we put also everywhere our metal here and now we can start with the lighting and all that stuff so we bring back uh, like our stuff here and first of all i also want to just uh, create a glossy material for the backdrop so and just put it on here and just make it just a little bit uh, more grayish so yeah our product will pop a little bit more and now we can bring an object HDI environment and in this HDI envi uh, environment I just bring a standard HDI environment from a Light Studio like just check out the link in the description like the second link or something and there's like a pack and it's awesome it's just for free and they are uh, looking really really good so yeah we have something like that and what we can make already we can just make everything a little bit brighter and you see it's starting to get interesting but like this uh, metal pieces here you see uh, they are just a little bit too bright oh and also one very important part is go to octane camera tag here and to camera imager enable camera imager and highlight compression just go make it to maximum so our highlights don't burn out so much but still we have to create like a new metal material so just drag and uh, with control click and we can call it just like metal 2 so we know this one we will place on the holder so it's right now the same material but we go to the metal 2 and we just yeah the specular map you see if we put it like to zero it just gets darker and we can just control a little bit like of the reflections and yeah i think that's a good idea and that looks great and let's just yeah you see we have like in the background like a super beautiful gradient light and yeah that's like the whole magic of the picture and yeah also first of all i don't want like this perfect reflection so we just go to our backdrop and we just go to roughness and give it just tiny bit yeah that will just look a little bit better so yeah don't forget to save and now just click at the glass body and we just create like an octane um, targeted area light and we just bring it back so now we just with t we just uh, scale it smaller and and what we want to do we want this light to affect only the liquid so we just call it liquid light and this liquid light we go to the camera tag and just light pass id we give it two and the same we go to our liquid and right click octane tags and then object tag and we go to the object layer use light pass mark uh, pass mark and enable and press two and now you see like the light is not lighting our liquid and we just want to invert it so we go to our settings so our cogwheel here and here light linking invert we press number two so now you see if we disable like the visibility of our light so we go to light liquid visibility and uncheck here everything and you see now it's only affecting our liquid and yeah you see it's too harsh here we have like some kind of gradient so super easy we just go to to the tag here and go to light settings and texture we just add a gradient we click to the gradient you see already here it's starting to get like kind of a gradient from black to white but we just want light in the middle and it fades out like a kind of a softbox so something like that but it's still definitely too bright so we just go to the light settings and now we just can play a little bit like the size something you like just play a little bit around so yeah we have something like that just bring it down a little bit so yeah the top is not too lit up so yeah something like that but yeah maybe yeah i think i like this and now as uh, if you see like here because 
yeah, the HDI environment is like a little bit gray and our backdrop is also gray. We are losing like here the edge. So for that, again, we just click on our bottle here or something and we just create again like an octane targeted area light and we just bring it just here. And again, we just disable in the visibility everything. So, um, and also we go to the light settings and yeah, you see, we don't want to light our backdrop. We just want to light like our teapot. So in that example, we go to our light tag again, but this time we give a light pass ID of uh, three, for example, and we go to our plane and again, right click octane tags, object tag. And this time we enable light pass mark ID and we just take the three and you see like our light is affecting the teapot, but not our plane. That's what we need. Let's call it just rim light here. And yeah, it's definitely too bright. So really you see it just, we make it also just like a little bit of a thinner and maybe just, yeah, maybe make it even higher. So you see, like if we compare it, so store render buffer. So this is with light and this is without. And you see like this is with the light and we just have like a little bit like of a distinct, uh, distinct, uh, distinguishing. So, you know, so, and also the same, we just want to edit like, and yeah, guys, you can, it's really just a uh, quick tutorial. And I think this already pretty cool, but yeah, you can just adjust it and play a little bit around with it. Yeah. Oh, that's, I like that when it's like super thin. And now we just control C control V. So we can just bring it to the other side. And for that, we go to the, we just copy it and make it like from minus 30 to plus 30. And you see it's already like on the other side, but I just make both a little bit uh, thicker. So yeah, I think that looks really awesome, but something is still missing. And yeah, you guessed it right. Like the backdrop has to be lit up a little bit. For that, again, just super easy we create a null object and we just bring this null object like here where yeah, our bevel is. So we can just use it as a target, save, don't forget. And now we just create an octane IES light. This is something interesting. You see it's even if we disable like the visibility, you see nothing happens because those IES lights are special lights and we have to give like a special texture. So we just go here to the, let's call it IAS B uh, D for backdrop light. And we go to the octane light tag and to the distribution, we just click this here and you see file name IAS. So we ne need the IAS light. And here I also link it into the description, like IAS lights, it's a free pack. You can download them. They are all awesome, but in 99% I just use this defined uh, spot here and just edit. And bam, you see something is happening already, but like our light is not pointing to our corner here. So we have to give it like right click animation tag and the target tag. And in this target tag of the IES light, we just, and we just bring like our null object here that we just created into our target object uh, tag here. So we just drag and drop the null into the target object. And now you see, like our light is always pointing to that stuff, but we definitely have to make it much, much smaller. And yeah, you see already it's yeah something that we need. And now just play a little bit around where, yeah, I think this is really cool, but yeah, maybe I want to make it a little bit uh, something like that, but it's maybe a little bit too bright. So yeah, I think this is really cool and we can just bring it like a tiny bit closer. And yeah, we can make now uh, the liquid light just a tiny bit brighter. Yeah, something like that, maybe, I don't know, maybe 12. Now we can just render it out and with some different passes and just like do a little bit of Photoshop, adding a vignette and all that stuff. And if you want to see how to create like in plasticity, like this kind of models and hard surface models and all that stuff, because yeah, it's just awesome. It's easy. It's fast. And yeah, it's a cool, nice program. Let me know. And yeah, download this teapot. You will get like my newsletter sometimes, free models and all that stuff. And leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.